The law is clear. He doesn't have authority to grant it. He can't appoint a prosecutor himself. The case is over, and his bias is so egregious, he should be removed from the case. And that is what she's pushing. The attorney for Michael Flynn taking on Judge Emmett Sullivan, filing an emergency appeal to get him booted off the case and to force the dismissal of Flynn's charges, which the DOJ requested. Here to react is Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall, who's one of the 15 AGs pushing to get Flynn's charges dropped. Steve, why did you, become, why did you want to become part of this? Why did you want your feelings known? You know, Brian, good morning. Thank you for having me uh, with you today. You know, I've been a prosecutor for over 20 years, and to see what uh, this judge is doing against a reputable prosecutor in Tim Shea attempting to do justice by dismissing this case, you know, speaks to the very core of what it is that I do, and along with my colleagues. So, how do you feel about Sidney Powell's move, uh, mandamus brief that she's filed to sa essentially say this judge is biased, uh, and he hired a retired judge that's a Trump hater uh, to oversee a case that should not be in court anyway. In fact, here's what she said about Sullivan, uh, what Sullivan said about Michael Flynn the last time they were in court together. He said this, I can't hide my disgust, my disdain for your criminal offense. Not only did you lie to the FBI, you lied to senior officials in the incoming administration. Arguably, you sold out your country, you sold your country out. Now, he would later apologize, but what does that say legally uh, what, what he should be doing with this case? I think it speaks volume to a judge who is now out of control, and I commend General Flynn's counsel being able to file that mandamus with the Court of Appeals. You know, it's an opportunity for that court to, to strike back at the district judge who needs to follow who, through his responsibilities, and that is to dismiss this uh, untenable case at the request of the prosecution who's attempting to do justice here. And in outlining her case, Sidney Powell also pointed out to, and they brought up to the judge, hey, you know when the FBI talked to Michael Flynn? They wrote up a summary weeks later in a 302. We can't find it. The judge goes, well, those things happen. So between the retired judge that hates Trump to oversee the case, between his obviously thinking he sold the country out, and his nondescript ways of saying the 302s are lost, you got to toss this guy off the case. But legally, will he get tossed? Don't know that he will. You know, the important thing is, though, for the, for the judge ultimately to do what the rule requires him to do, and that is on the basis of the motion by the, the, the DOJ in this case, is to be able to dismiss the case against General Finn. It's due, it's warranted, and it's what justice requires. Who corralled you, real quick, Steve, to do this? Oh, this is led by General Yost in Ohio, and I think uh, several of us who obviously have spent most of our careers attempting to do exactly what Tim Shea is doing in this case, and that's to do justice, uh, feel very strongly this case needs to be dismissed. All right, uh, Steve, thanks for getting up with us. Uh, Steve Marshall, Attorney General of Alabama, appreciate it. Thank you.